I think it's I think it's our best product. I think it's the most unique thing on the road. Strap in tester enthusiasts, because the countdown to the automotive event of the year is ticking away. The Cybertruck's grand entrance at the Jigga factory in Austin, Texas, is less than 24 hours from reality. But mark my words, this isn't just an event. It's a symphony of innovation, a groundbreaking spectacle poised to reshape the very essence of electric vehicles. Brace yourselves for a sneak peek into the heart of the Cybertruck saga, and guess who's taking us on this electrifying journey? None other than the YouTube maestro, MKBHD. He's given us an exclusive interior shot of his Cybertruck test unit, unveiling not just its sleek design, but also shedding light on the mysterious range and battery pack state. Hold onto your seats because MKBHD's test unit reveals a whopping 265 mile range at a 90% charge, as indicated by the truck's own computer. Picture this. 9 out of 10 charge indicators lit up, meaning 90% charge and 265 miles remaining, giving us a tantalizing glimpse into a potential 290 miles of range. But here's the twist, the devil's in the details. Is it a single motor or dual? How big are those wheels and tires? Is it holding a load in the back, maybe even a trailer? The excitement is real as we await the official unveiling at tomorrow's delivery event. Speaking of the event, there's a tantalizing possibility on the horizon. Initial reports hinted at just 10 trucks being delivered, but hold on to your tester-branded hats. Drone photographer Jeff Roberts, the aerial maestro, spotted a fleet of cyber trucks ready to roll in the Jigger Texas parking lot, a staggering 25 of them. Are these the surprise guests for the event, or are they gearing up for an epic post-show departure? The plot thickens. And that's not all. Tesla isn't done teasing us with event details. Martin Vieta, the maestro behind investor relations, dropped a bombshell. The event kicks off at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time on November 30th. Not the speculated evening affair. Why midday? To ensure a global audience can catch every riveting moment, from Australia's dawn to Europe's evening, aligning with every market where the Cybertruck has become a sensation. But here's where the real-world buzz takes center stage. Cybertruck fever isn't confined to the digital realm. It's spreading like wildfire across showrooms in the US and Canada. These showrooms are transforming into Cybertruck sanctuaries, drawing crowds eager to lay eyes on the stainless steel marvel for the first time. And if that's not enough, let's talk about a new player in town. CyberShield, a mysterious cleaning elixir discovered at a tester dealership in Florida, whispered to be Tesla's secret formula for preserving the Cybertruck's pristine beauty. Professional and enigmatic, the CyberShield bottle raises questions. Is it a dealership exclusive or a potential must-have for Cybertruck owners worldwide? There is a ton of Cybertruck content available if you log on to any Tesla forum or glance at any Tesla news website. This pickup has definitely taken on a life of its own, whether you love it or hate it. These days, Tesla and Cybertruck are practically synonymous, and tomorrow's event is guaranteed to draw sizable crowds. In Southeast Asia, the search for a new Tesla Giga factory location is intensifying. Company executives recently traveled to Tainan to examine a number of potential sites for new facilities. The Thai Prime Minister recently confirmed in an interview that Tesla's representatives visited Thailand to see some potential locations for a new Tesla facility, which the Thai government claims the company is willing to invest $5 billion in over the next few years, as well as to experience Thai culture. The tricky thing about negotiations is that everyone is trying to gain the upper hand, so they will always be promoting how strong their deal is. However, even though it can be challenging to determine who is actually in the lead here, there are some clear indicators that Tesla has made a big show of courting several countries in Southeast Asia, including Thailand, Indonesia, and India. Obviously, an exec team touring the country for spots to build is a big point in Tian's favor here, but we should probably consider the talk of Tesla wanting to invest $5 billion as unconfirmed until the deal is actually signed. However, Thailand is actually a pretty enticing place for Tesla to put down their next Jigga factory. The local government is clearly happy to invite them into the country. More importantly, it's also geographically close to Indonesia, which will come in handy if Tesla ends up investing in that country's nickel mines. Tesla does have a history with Indonesia. Last year was full of back and forth between Tesla and the Indonesian 
Indonesian government. The island has huge nickel mines that battery makers would love to get in on. In turn, Indonesia would really love to have a big company like Testa invest there. While the recent economic downturn has made the relationship cool a bit, it hasn't stopped Elon from communicating with the Indonesian government regularly. It looks like Tesla is still planning on investing in the nickel industry there. But there's another Southeast Asian country that Tesla has been very interested in negotiating with India. Almost the entire time they've been talking with Indonesia. Additionally, Tesla has been making an effort to persuade the Indian government to relax its stringent import duties. The back and forth has given rise to the possibility that Tesla may locate their next factory there rather than elsewhere, but there have been numerous diplomatic obstacles. This is where things get tricky because it's likely that Indonesia, India and Thailand have been discussing these deals to get the impression that they are in control, which is probably ideal for Tesla. The updated Model 3 has been available for about three months. Some new safety features are receiving attention, and there are some pretty clever engineering details that were first brought to our attention by user Tesla Adra on X. The Model 3 redesign, formerly known as Highland, has some passive safety features that the original didn't include, like metal hooks to keep the doors aligned in the event of a crash, double power dampeners on the trunk to stabilize that part, an active hood and the driver's seat. Regardless, it appears that Tesla is getting ready to make a decision soon. Drowsiness Warning System it may seem strange to have your car watching you while you drive, but many accidents are caused by people driving while fatigued, so it is a useful system to reduce those incidents to a minimum. The system is based around a camera installed above the rear view window that watches for the amount of yawns and blinks a driver makes, warning them on the central infotainment display if it detects some drowsy behaviors. The remaining features are largely self-explanatory, but the active hood is a relatively new addition. The concept is that in the event of a collision with a pedestrian, sensors in the front bumper will send a signal to the Model 3's computer. An algorithm will then determine whether the accident requires more intervention, and if so, a pair of pistons will push the rear of the hood upward by approximately 3 inches, cushioning the blow that an individual would receive from slamming into a nearly horizontal hood, one of the main causes of head injuries in these kinds of collisions. The only drawback is that once activated, you'll need to visit a tester service center to realign your hood and reset the pedals, akin to what you'd have to do if your airbags deployed, but it's a small price to pay to reduce pedestrian injuries. This feature is reportedly already available in some markets for the Model S and Model X. We all hope to never need safety features like the active hood, but it is encouraging to see Tesla actively protecting people. All that's left to do is wait for the Highland Refresh to arrive in North America before the features are implemented here. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.